wow, my room is like so much brighter with my duvet cover off. <laughs> I'm just doing laundry this morning, so it's, it's still gonna be my usual bed cover that I love and was also kind of pricey, but for right now, it's, it's bright. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing a foundation review. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I do like to do these after I've already had the foundation and I've tested it out, so that instead of this being more of like a first impression, this is more of kind of like a roundup of my thoughts. So, this is on the new ABH Dewy or Luminous Foundation, what's it actually called? That might help. The Luminous Foundation. This foundation retails for $38. I picked mine up at Sephora and I actually went into the Sephora with my boyfriend and we swatched a whole bunch of this on my face. <laughs> and this is the shade that worked the best for me. This is shade 120W. Let's read a little bit about the foundation from Sephora. The new ABH Luminous Foundation, a water resistant liquid foundation that creates a luminous natural finish and is long wearing even without setting powder. It is medium coverage and is good for all skin types. It is free of parabens and mineral oil. This product is also vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. Available in 50 shades, a luminous foundation blurs any imperfection, including discoloration and unevenness, without caking or masking the skin's natural radiance. The easy-to-blend formula goes on seamlessly and leaves the skin with a perfected-looking complexion free of flashback or oxidization. So I got a bone to pick with a couple of these things, but... That's the general uh, gist of it, and you do get 1.01 fluid ounces in here, which is just a little bit more than average. I personally, I know people were like roasting them about the packaging. I like this packaging. It actually has a really nice pump, and it's cleaner than a lot of other foundation pumps that I used. It's a glass bottle. I think it's cute. I personally really like this, and I feel like this packaging fits the price tag, which I think is one of the most important things. Because nothing is worse than paying like 38 or like you know a higher end foundation price and getting like a plastic tube so i feel like this fits and i personally really like it so before we actually get into the application i just want to say a few talking points about what they listed on the sephora website i do agree that it is medium coverage it is a solid medium coverage and it is water resistant i have sound i've found that i've worn this on one of the hottest days i've worn this to commute i've worn this when i'm staying home and surprisingly I, so, not surprisingly, I do sweat a lot, and even though I sweat through this foundation, it does not break down, which really surprised me, and it's one of the reasons why I actually really like this foundation. It does tend to look oily, like, if you sweat a lot, this can look oily really fast, but if you do sweat a lot, it's not gonna break down, so if you kind of, like, let it dry or, like, blot a little bit, it'll still look nice. There are two things here that I have not tested, the first being the flashback, and the second being, um, testing it long for a long full day without setting it. I set all of my foundations, just because of my combination skin and because it is hot as hell outside. I think I would try this like without powder once it gets a bit drier like late fall early winter so right now i'm not doing that i need to have this powdered down the flashback i actually do need to test out i'll take a picture on my iphone of the flash at some point after all of my makeup is on and we'll see if there is flashback unfortunately the shade i'll show you during the demo it is a bit slightly dark so i am going to lighten it up though i have used this foundation with and without the light mixer and i've seen the same results something i do disagree with uh when they say free of oxidization i do think this gets a little darker because when we picked this shade out we picked out a shade that looked like really really close to my neck so let's see i'm just gonna do a little swatch right here so if you look down that blends into my neck pretty well now, if I leave this here, it does get a little darker, especially when I finish the rest of my face, especially when I'm at the end of a long day. You can pretty much see, like, the line of where I blended the foundation down my neck, which is a bit disappointing That's if, if I leave it alone. If I use a white mixer, then it doesn't look as bad, but that was a bit disappointing because I was really hoping, I, since I spent so much time finding my shade, I was really hoping that I'd be able to find a foundation I can use, like, by itself. But I, I guess I need to embrace the fact that I am Casper now. I am a warm yellow Casper. Ew, why did that sound so weird? 
All right, let's get into this demo. So I have tested this foundation out with quite a few primers. Mainly, I've tried the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. I know it's a bit odd to use a mattifying primer with a dewy foundation, but I just wanted to see how it worked and if this could help control my, my sweat and my oil underneath this. It still worked really nice and I actually really liked it. So surprising there. I've also tried this with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which was a glow bomb. <laughs> This is one of the glowiest, dewiest primers I've ever seen. Like, it gives you just, like, a a glow. I think it is too much with this ABH foundation because it is a dewy foundation. So that just made me look, like, oily. It didn't make me look, like, nice. <laughs> and last but not least, I have tried this with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And currently, this is my favorite primer to use with this. So that's what we're going to go in with today. So I kept the little tab from the Tatcha. I originally had the Tatcha primer and then I got the e.l.f. one. The e.l.f. is a perfect dupe if not better than the e.l.f. or uh, than the Tatcha. So I do a whole video on that if you want to watch that. Oh, I'm just gonna smooth this on. Primer is like the one thing in my routine where I'll use my hands for it. Everything else like I make sure I have a brush or something on hand. I might be I might bring in like another one of my foundation brushes to just use as primer because I have a bunch of makeup brushes that I don't use but I think I'm okay with doing this because it feels more like skincare than it does like makeup you know what I'm actually not going to use the white mixer today I am working from home and then I'll be going out with my boyfriend but I do want you guys to see the original foundation so we're just going to go in with the foundation I am going to just throw it on a palette to make it a little bit easier to apply so we've got four pumps right there and my current favorite way to apply this I don't have that brush all right so now we have the brush so I like to take this big concealer brush from MAC. It doesn't have to be from MAC, of course, but this is how I kind of just paint on my foundation. So I like to paint on just like this much. Get a little bit down the neck. And then I like to take my flat top kabuki, this is the Sigma F80, and blend it in. So before I finish blending it in, you can already see the coverage. It actually looks really nice. However, when I do use the brush, I don't know if it'll come up on camera, but you can see the like brush marks. So I like to put it on with the brush first to like preserve the coverage. And then I go in and smooth it out with a sponge. This is just my $1 Shop Miss A sponge. What is even this? So just based off of this one layer, it actually looks really nice. It looks very skin-like, and there's already that glow, right? Personally, I like to add a little bit more coverage to my chin. I've got some breakouts over here, and I like to cover up my redness up here. So when I go in to put foundation on my forehead, I just take a little bit extra, and I dab it on here. And wherever I want to add a little bit more coverage. Something I have noticed that this only builds up well with a sponge for me. I can't go in with the brush for the second layer because it starts to like lift product up. Okay, and there we have it. That is the full foundation application. I really like how this looks. It is still very tacky. I've set, I've let this set for a while and it doesn't fully dry down, which is part of the reason why I always set mine with powder. I have seen other reviews where people do leave it like this, but there is transfer. This is not a transfer proof foundation by any means. But the shade right now looks nice. So I, I'm hoping that we can see when I finish the rest of my makeup or by the end of the day, we can see it get a little bit darker, which is what I tend to see and why I tend to lighten this foundation a bit. So let's see the check-in time. It is 724. So we'll just call it 730 because that's when the foundation was just about applied. I'm going to jump off, finish the rest of my makeup, and then we'll be back for the first check-in. Okay, and I am back. It is now just after 8. It is like 8.07. I took my sweet time with my makeup today. So this is what the foundation looks like with the rest of my makeup on. It looks beautiful. It does look really beautiful and it sits on my skin so like naturally. So this is a really nice natural finish. I do think it did get a little off. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not, but I do think the shade is a bit dark now, 
but it still looks okay. So that being said, I am going to wear this for the full day. It is 8 a.m. I have to film another video. I have to work. I'm working from home today. Then I might be going out later. Not sure, but I'm probably going to wear this for at least 12 hours, actually, since it's already like 8 a.m. So I will do the flashback test. I think we should do that in natural lighting. So we'll do that in one of the next updates and we'll see how it wears. Hi guys, so this is the first check-in. It is 2.30, a little bit later than I thought. Oh, I just exposed the fact that I'm listening to Attack on Titan. <laughs> so it's a little bit later than I thought it would be for my first update, but this is how the foundation is looking. Honestly, it still looks gorgeous. I haven't been doing anything other than working from home. I turned off all the lights in here and stood in front of my window to get some natural light. But unfortunately, it's like gonna storm today. So there isn't a whole lot of natural light. But I'm actually surprised at the shade. I'm wondering if maybe this doesn't work well with certain powders because I did try a new powder today, but it actually isn't looking too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the flash test here. Let me put the flash on. Flash is on, so we'll see if there's any, like, bounce back. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. Honestly, I think, like, I look a little oilier <laughs> in the picture than I do here. Because, like, in the picture, I can see, like, I guess that might just be sweat. I don't know if that's sweat or oil, like, right around my nose, right here. But I don't see a huge difference, other than, like, my face looks more yellow than my chest, because my chest tends to get red. <laughs> So sometimes it looks a bit off, but overall, I actually gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so I'll just keep wearing this. I gotta do some laundry. I'm gonna try, I don't know if I'll film another video. Gotta do some laundry, finish up work, and then I think we're just taking it easy, because we were gonna go out tonight, but it's legit gonna storm. So I think we're just gonna stay in and like order a pizza and like watch TV or something. So I'll check in in a little bit. Hello guys, so it is a bit later than I thought it would be. This is 9.47, so the foundation's been on for just around 14 hours, <laughs> so here's how it looks. So I gotta say, this is not transfer proof. Upper lip and nose, that's what happens when you kiss your boyfriend. And you've got this on. Yeah, so it's definitely not transfer proof, and I'm definitely looking very luminous. But other than like <laughs> where it rubbed off, it is actually holding up nicely. Like you see how it, even though it looks oily, it it hasn't broken down like it's still it looks like oily skin it doesn't look like my foundation is like pulling apart right so i'm actually pretty impressed by this foundation i think overall it'd be much better in a drier climate like in winter um and i want i really want to see how this works if i don't set it so yeah i'll keep testing this out overall i'm actually fairly impressed by it i do enjoy it despite you know some little things here and there but overall i will still continue using this foundation thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye